everybody we're going to go ahead and get started this screencast is going to show you how to log into Navion's. Um, this is probably everybody's first time logging in so i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial here first thing you want to do is open up a web browser right now i am using chromecast and you just want to search for Navion. so make sure cur uh, the spelling is correct so i'll type it out n-a-v-i-a-n-c-e you're going to search that. These are your search results that come up. Make sure you click on that first one. And this will be your the home screen that you see on here. You want to scroll down just a little bit. On the right hand side, you're going to see that it says account login. And you want to log in uh, for students and parents. If your parents ever want to join you with um, and looking at Naviance, they can just use your login information. You'll see that Naviance wants to see uh, what school you go to. So you can go ahead and type in your zip code or school name. I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, Glenbard South zip code 60137. You're going to see the search results come up. You're going to click on Glenbard South. You'll know you're in the right place if you see the Glenbard South logo right next to where it says Welcome to Naviance Student. Next, you're going to select your user type, which is student. And you're going to continue with single sign-on. So this uh, greenish rectangular box. What's great about the single sign-on is that you're using your Glenbard account. So make sure that you're logged in using your Glenbard Google account, not your private one. So your email address will be something along the lines of 424 and four digits after that. I'll just make this up for an example. Some of you might just be able to click single sign on and automatically log in. Otherwise, put in your email address. Once you click next, it should automatically take you to the Naviance homepage. All right, so now that you are logged into Naviance, I'm going to show you how to find the career cluster finder that we would like you to do this evening. So you will go at the top of your screen, you'll see these three buttons or the three lines. Um, this is your uh, menu option. So click that. And then we are going to click on careers and then career home, which brings you to the career home page. Please feel free to log back into Naviance at any point and explore all of this. One thing I'd like to highlight is the Road Trip Nation interview collection. This is um, a collection of interviews of professionals, and it's sorted by their uh, professions, their careers. And so they talk about what it's like in that, that career field. So a great opportunity for you to learn a little bit more from people who are actually in the field that you're interested in. For today, we are going to do the career cluster finder. So I do want to highlight that there are many different career assessments that you can do. Um, but again, we will focus on the career cluster finder for today. And then um, after you are done with it, we will follow up with you next week. So go ahead and click on the Career Cluster Finder and read through the uh, directions here and then simply hit start, go through all of the questions, and then when you are done, your results will be saved so that you can view them later on. And of course, please let your counselor know if you have any difficulties with this or if you have any questions. 